Hi guys, um, didn't get a chance to do anything as such with this in the last few days. I have put on the top slab suspension. That's all finished now and buttoned down. I just put, have to put the brass caps back on it. Um, what arrived in the last few days, sorry, they, the, that's the steering rack that's going on it. It's a nice tidy little thing and there's a knuckle I have. That's hopefully that's all I should need to, to put onto this. Right, um, we're motoring along nicely. I have, and it's like, you know, I'm going on my knees here now, so as you can see underneath. So that's steering rack there in place. It's just very, very loose. It's not bolted for anything. It's just cable tied and that jack is holding it up in place. And that's the end of the rod. What I'm going to have to do now, once I get, I'm going to have to make up brackets now and get this welded in. This piece here, section here, will be coming off the end of it. I'll get an extension rod then, uh, whatever length I need to fit up with the bracket on the back up here. So there's a lot of work involved in doing this and getting it right. And uh, I'm, uh, so I've a bit, a bit more to go yet. But look, we're making progress. I'm hoping by tomorrow I'll have the brackets and all made up and that's secured. So at least that'll be that much of it done. And then I'll have to work out the inside, work out for the steering column inside and this bracket on the outside. Okay, uh, I'm back at it this morning, uh, getting the steering on the sidecar sorted. I've, uh, I've, there's two brackets already welded inside underneath there now. They're only spot welded because I have to make up I have to make, I have to elongate the hole here on the floor because I have a big knuckle joint to come up there. So that's got to be done. And um, that center piece that's to push to the side, which I'd use to cover up the previous holes. I'm probably going to have to make up a new one of them now because the hole is going to be larger. But that's fine. That's not a big deal. Um, so what I'm at now today is steering. It's all about the steering at the moment. We're going to get this thing sorted out as soon as I can. I'm not going to get it finished today because I have to get a, an extension piece machined for this. Because that's not nearly long enough for what I need. So that's going to take me a little bit of a while to get done. But everything that I can get done myself, I'm planning on getting it done today and tomorrow. I'm plowing on with this thing. Um, there's that knuckle now that I was talking about coming up through the floor. I have the, the, the rack now roughly positioned underneath as to where I want it. And it's working fine. Um, now what I must do is, this is my steering column. So that would basically, I have to cut it to size obviously, but the, the job is that's basically going down in here. Now the problem I'm faced with at the moment is it's about three or four inches of a difference. So what I must do is, where you see the blue mark on the floor, there, I must take that much out of the floor there to allow this knuckle to move back and give me the angle I want so the actual, uh, the steering column will go back into its original position because I want the steering wheel where it originally was. So I've, um, I'm lucky enough I don't have to take the floor out. I can actually manage all this uh, with the floor in place. So that's actually quite good. So there's a lot less work involved than what I thought there was. So that's my job now. Just take this piece out, get the knuckle back and connect back up my steering column. Okay, that's the bracketry for the the, um, the steering rack all in and sorted. It's, there's one, there's one back there and there's a third one here that the clamp is on, that the welding clamp is on. So that's, that's where I did, it's two, three mounts on the, on the actual rack and I wanted to make sure that the three mounts were properly taken care of in terms of bolting positions. So they're solid as a rock now. Um, what's left now, I'm going to put the rack back on again just to make sure that none of the brackets have moved with the welding because heat tends to move things. Take it off then, clean everything up and give it a coat of paint. Then what's left then afterwards is I must make an extension for the track rod off the rack and I must come up then up here and measure the length of the steering stem, cut that to suit to the height that I want, um, get that sorted and welded in properly, and then I must make a new one of these um, to just basically to decorate it all up. Uh, the steering rack is now back fitted into place. You can see it's sitting in there. What I've got to do now is work out the distance between the end of the track rod, which is the guy with the nut on it there, to the bottom of the loop on the fork. I'm going to have to do some to make up uh, a, a bar or in what I might do is cut the old track rod to suit that um, I work it out later on there when I do my measurements and see how we go um, also we have the the steering stem loosely fitted into place it actually fits really well in, uh, well down there so that's got to be that's got to be short and it's about four inches too long uh, compared to what it was previous to, to uh, me fitting the rack so that's not a big job it's a matter of cutting it and uh, re-welding it so things are coming on really, really well. Very happy with how things are going. Um, 
So we're going to get back stuck into this now again and get my measurements right and see exactly what I have to do to join the, the whole lot together. Okay, see you later guys. Bye bye.